we're uh, going to deal again with the uh, term human. Um, it is the dirty word that I hear all the time. And it's, it's definitely been uh, indoctrinated into people through the public education system for a lot of reasons. Uh, we don't want, now it's politically incorrect to say mankind because it'll offend uh, basically feminist groups. But uh, anyways, the, uh, the reason why we, why appropriately, when we believe in God and we believe in creation, uh, we know uh, that in the order man came first and why uh, Eve was called, was a woman, it came from, in Hebrew, womb, man. So uh, it is, uh, it, we would of course realize then that it would be mankind. And it's nothing meant derogatory to women at all. Uh, but they've been trained to believe that through uh, false knowledge that's been uh, propagated through the media and through uh, learning institutions. So we're going to go to uh, scripture. And it's a unique scripture because it just shows you that there are people that are aware um, of this term human and to inject it in the Bible in a certain spot uh, would make it stand out. And so I'm, I'm going to read. I'm reading from. Um, I'm going to read the King James first. So I'm going to read Psalm 49. Psalm 49 starts off. Hear this, all ye people. Give ear, all ye inhabitants of the world, both low and high rich and poor together. Okay, so now I'm going to read out of the New American Standard, Psalm 49. It says, Hear this, all peoples. Give ear, all inhabitants of the world, both low and high, rich and poor together. Okay, now I'm going to read from the most legalistic Bible I've ever had my hands on, and in fact, the, the publishers of this particular Bible have removed this out of their Bible, their current Bible, so, but it was there for years, and uh, I don't even think their own followers that actually have these Bibles that they carry around uh, when they're preaching to people uh, realize this is even in there. So here's Psalm 49. Hear this, all you peoples, give ear, all you inhabitants of the system of things. You sons of humankind, which was in the King James and in the New American, you sons of low. So they said, you sons of humankind, as well as you sons of man, which what would have been translated in the King James, high, instead of man. So they're saying that humankind is low is the low, and man, those of man, sons of man, is high. So the ones that actually even diabolically operate this technocracy out there, they love the fact that you use the term human because they know you're part of their resource. That's a legalistic term in law, in the legal, in the legal, not the God's law, in the legal, to make you tagged as their chattel property to use as they please so stop talking about human rights because you because that is the most ridiculous thing no man should even want human rights these are not absolute rights and these governments that try to claim this right up to the un with their human rights code um, are just misleading you because they're not absolute, they're conditional. So when you're listening to documentaries or audios of people saying they've got it down now, it's you got to go after your fundamental human rights. Well, I'm sure that they will fundamental who believes that. They give you a $2,000 fundamental check every month for claiming you're a human. This is a lack of knowledge. And unfortunately, people, the, the people of God will perish due to lack of knowledge. So do not ever, ever, 
at least be in my vicinity trying to tell me that uh, that I'm a human. 